Trudy, please. Hi guys, in today's video I am going to be making a Season 3 Shopkins character, and this is Candy Apple. So I'm going to be making the green version of it. I believe there's another one that's pink. Um, and this was requested on YouTube by the user Akin Richard Abbey, who also requested Noni Notebook and Snippy. So I will be making tutorials for those very soon. So what you're going to need is a ball of green clay, and I'm using the wasabi color. So I've rolled out two little hands here, and then just an extra piece that I'm going to be using to add some extra detail. And then I'm using this color here, and I just mixed translucent in with some orange and white, so it kind of gives it like a peachy color. So I'm going to be using this for the stick, and then these little two pieces here for the feet. So as you can see, I don't have any Season 3 Shopkins yet. They're not in Canada as far as I know. Um, so I just have some Season 1s and Season 2s hanging out in our video today. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can create your own candy apple. Just going to make a ball shape. And we all kind of know what an apple looks like, I assume. So it's going to be kind of bigger on the top, more rounded, and then kind of narrower on the bottom so something like that and this is a really great color it makes a really good like a granny smith kind of apple so once you have the shape of that you can take a tool and make a little hole on the top and I'm not going to put the stick in just yet I'm going to attach the feet so just smush those together there and we'll place those on the bottom just like so and now for the stick I'm just going to roll out the one end so you're going to have something sort of narrow on the bottom so something like that because you want it wide enough that it's going to be sturdy you can also use a um, like a head pin or something to stabilize it a bit. So a head pin usually just goes in through the bottom. It has like a little um, little metal circle on the bottom that kind of just sticks into the clay and then that kind of just gives it some um, extra strength so it doesn't flop over. So there's our little stick there and I have some extra clay and I'm just going to roll some of that out and I'm just going to take some and just wrap it around the top just like so and then also you can just add some little details if you want like little drips of the the candy apple syrup so something like that just to give it some more extra details so I'm just going to make two little holes on either side and place our little hands in there and the hands appear to be pointing downwards so just like so and then for the mouth I'm just going to make just a tiny little mouth in there just like so so there is our basic look before we're going to go ahead and bake it so you might just have to kind of fiddle with it a bit and get it to the way that you want it to look. I might actually just trim this at the top because I don't want it to be too wide. I want it to look like a stick. So there we go. So we'll go ahead and bake this little guy at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Alright, so I have gone ahead and painted on the little face here. So what you'll do is just paint a little winky eye two eyebrows and then a little eye there and I also just put a little bit of white up in the top to make it look like teeth and as you can see the little um, extra details I put on here before I went ahead and baked it so I think it turned out pretty cute it is a cute little character and I love candy apples I think I've only ever had red candy apples though but um, but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and let me know in the comments below if there's one that you'd like to see and I will see you soon. Bye guys!